So I'm going to walk you through how to use Hardy Weinberg to do some calculations and I'm going to focus on talking about albinos. So it's a very rare disease and only those who have the re recessive alleles a little a little a which we call homozygous because they're both the same are the ones that express albinism. So as you can see only about 1 in 200 in 20,000 people have this rare skin condition and we're going to figure out sort of what the percentage of the frequency of that is in populations. So the Hardy-Weinberg equation is where we'd say P and I'm going to say squared E plus 2PQ plus q squared equals 1. So this is talking about all the alleles within a population and that's why it's equal to 1 because we're talking about the population equaling 1. So in this equation the term that is equal to the frequency of the homozygous recessive individuals little a little a in this case is a pop in a population is and so P squared represents the homozygous dominant, 2PQ represents the heterozygous because it has one of each, and so Q squared is representing the homozygous recessive. So I'm going to put in here that we're talking about Q squared. Therefore, I'll highlight this so it's a different color. <clears throat> Therefore, given the information provided above, the frequency of homozygous recessive individuals expressed as a decimal will be, well, if I know that 1 in 20,000 individuals are affected by this rare skin disorder or pigment, then I'm going to divide 1 by 20,000 to get the answer of what Q squared would be. So 1 divided by 20,000 is 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00005. Or if we multiply this by 100 to get a percentage, we're going to take off two of those zeros and we're going to say that that equals 0.005 percent of the population. Now, <clears throat> this is squared, this is the percentage, but by to figure out what Q by itself stands for, we need to square root Q squared. So the square root of 0 0.00005 is da -dun -da -dun, 0 0.007. So we now know that Q squared, what Q squared stands for, we know what Q is based on the information given from above. So if we know one of these variables, then we can figure out what the other variable stands for because if we know that part of the population has this recessive allele. The other portion is going to have the dominant allele. So we're going to say 1 equaling the whole population. So if you subtract the part from the whole, we'll get the other part. So 1 minus Q is, put this in red again, 1 minus 0 0.007. And so P actually equals then 0 0.993. So now we have the allele frequencies going on. So the frequency of the dominant normal allele, capital A, then is therefore, put this in red again, 0 0.993. Or if we want to think about that is how many individuals, because up here we had 1 in 20,000, so 0.99, or if I multiply that by 100, it's going to be about... 99 in 100. So most of the population does not express this um, rare skin disorder. So the next step after we know these bits and pieces is to then put it back into the Hardy-Weinberg equation. So I'm going to set it up below here in an equation form, and then we'll plug in the actual numbers down here. So first off, in parentheses, I'm going to say P squared is 
let me put this in red for you again, 0 0.993 squared, because we're talking about both allele, or p times p, plus 2p, which is 0 0.993, times q, which is 0 0.007. Whoops, put a little extra thing in there. Then we're going to add this to q squared, which is 0 0.007. Oh, I keep doing that, sorry. And we are going to square this number. Equals 1. So, once again, here we have the homozygous dominant, P times P. Here we have the, hom the heterozygous, because we have P and Q, they're different. And here we have the homozygous recessive allele. And all of this should add up to one because we're looking at alleles in a population. So what to calculate this, p squared, so 0 0.993 squared equals, let me get the red, 0 0.986, oops, sorry, wrong spot, 0 0.986, or if we want to multiply that by 100, that's going to be 98.6%. For 2PQ, what that's going to equal is we're going to calculate this out. So 2 times 0 0.993 times 0 0.007 is going to equal 0 0.014, or that equals 1.4. Whoops. Percent. Now, Q squared, we already know what Q is from above, which is 0 0.0005, which equals 0.005%. Did that go off my screen? I'll do it right here. Sorry, there we go. So, what does this tell us about the number of people who carry albinism allele? So looking at the heterozygous group right here, what does this tell us about the trait? That's very interesting. So what I'd like you to do in this part is use the data provided and try to make some aha moments that you can connect with our whole population and the number of those who actually have albinism and the number of those who are carriers. All right, then I would like you to go on and practice the next one where you're talking about flowers in a mountain on your own. Please see me if you have any other questions.